our first audio recording. Okay, let's go into panels and see whether we've got all our inputs switched on. The inputs are here, the VST inputs. Mine are all switched on, I've got four of them, four stereo inputs, and this is how you switch them on and off. That's fine. In reality, you only need one of them to be switched on, but for the time being, let's just switch all of them on to make things a bit easier for us. Close this window by either by pressing the close button here or pressing the return key on the, on the um, keyboard, which I'll do. Return on the keyboard. Now let's open the um, channel mixer, the VST channel mixer number one, and let's see whether we've got a bit of a signal going into Cubase. So I'm playing the bass here, but nothing comes up. That's because I haven't switched on any of these buttons. Okay, I've switched in these little in buttons here. I've got two on. I'm only doing two to, sh to show you something. This one here, that channel, shows you the level of my speech. And the other channel should be the bass sound. These channels here don't mean don't really mean anything at the moment. They just monitor channels to see how loud the bass is. So all I need to do is to keep an eye on this bit here and make sure that the bass isn't too loud. So the bass goes up to minus 11, which is actually a bit too low. So I'll turn up the bass a little bit more. So the bass is a bit higher now. that's okay. If it goes up to minus 5, that's just right. I mean, if it goes to minus 4 or minus 3, that's fine as well. But don't make or make sure that it doesn't go any higher than that, because sometimes you accidentally create high peak sounds, which will mean you get clips. Whenever you do get clips, the red light comes on here, and you can just click on the red light again to reset the meter. And then you, you should also really um, reduce the volume on on your sound source, on your sound module or bass or microphone, wherever you've got. I'm going to stick with this one for the time being. And I close the um, channel mixer by, by pressing the return key on the keyboard again. So now I need to choose a track. Let's choose the first track. And because I'm recording the bass, I'll just type in bass guitar. Okay, that's the bass guitar, and the bass guitar comes in into the right input. Let's do that again. That one is switched on, and you can see here the input of the bass guitar. It says in one right at the moment. You can change this by clicking onto this little area there. Go back to right. If I click down here somewhere, nothing really happens apart from the internal mo monitoring through the VST engine which we'll talk about later on. Okay so in one right is selected that's fine. I'll close the window again with the return key and I'll make sure that in one right is also selected for this particular track. That's it. Now I'm going to record along to my tune because I've already got a bass here I'll just mute this bass part. This is your mute column by the way. You just click in here mute all those tracks and unmute them again. I'll keep the bass muted. The metronome is already switched on. All I need to do now is press record. You can either press record on the transport bar or you can hit the asterisk key on the number pad, which I'll do. One, two, three, four. <laughs> press stop and I'll stop the recording. Now I can just press stop again, the um, cursor goes back to the left locator and I can listen to my tune. I could either press start here again or press enter on the number pad which is what I'll do. <laughs> Okay, and if I don't like what I've played, 
I can just press delete on the keyboard to delete that part. As you can see, this part is selected. If I deselect it, it becomes white. And if I select it again by just clicking on it, it becomes like dark grayish. So I press delete on the keyboard to get rid of the part. And I'll just record the bass part again, maybe slightly different or maybe a bit better. I press the asterisk key again on the number pad. One, two, three, four. And stop the recording again. That's how easy it is to record a bass part or record anything else really for that matter. You can carry on recording on this track. All you need to do is change your locators. Let's say you want to record from there onwards to there. And then just take these parts here. Now I'll show you something that I haven't talked about before. I press Alt and get hold of these parts and just drag them across to create a copy. We'll talk about these operations later on. For now we'll just record something new on the same track again so that you can see that you can build up tunes um, by just recording on the same tracks. Record. One, two, three, four. <laughs> just to demonstrate um, that I've played a different part. These are the main things that you need for the audio recording. The reason why I haven't showed you the inside of the audio engine at this stage is because when you when you work and when when you once your system is set up you you won't be doing all these other operations that you need to do to get going. You'll be just doing what I've just shown you and um, all the other tricky bits will do in, in, in the next step and then I'll talk you the VST engine and the different channels and the channel mixer and the effects and everything but this is the main thing you need to know to record audio and I'd suggest that you that you um, swap back or that you change the program and go down to the, your Cubose version and record some audio parts on your own and just see how you get on with it. Once you've finished with the recording you can then double click on the bass part to see whether you've got some waveforms in the audio editor. There they are. If you right click with a mouse to bring up the audio editor toolbox you can see the um, speaker symbol and just click anywhere in the part or in this instance it's the segment to monitor some of those sections. Depending on where I click, it starts to play from there. Okay, to close this one window, you just press return again, as with all the other windows as well. And of course, you can check with the channel mixer to see whether the audio recording comes up on your meters. <laughs> As the bass playing away. Let's do the thing again. Stop to stop it. Stop to go back to the left record, left locator. Play. Now the bass is on the right hand side and on the left hand side. Back to the middle again. Notice this number here change. Play, I'll press play on the number pad. Left 5, left 23, 19. Left 64 is the maximum, and right 64 is the maximum. Back to the center again. And the volume of the bass is obviously this one here. the window and that's it for the first audio recording.